What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher 2. Now last time we left off, we actually explored the Starlight Strand a little bit more, and we actually fully discovered it. We got rid of all the clouds over here, which is pretty cool, and it's a lot bigger than you might have thought previously. It's huge, like look at this! And then of course we explored a little bit more down here, and uh, in the coral and lavender sides, and we found this new slime over here called the Flutter Slime, I believe, right? And that's the Gordo right there, and a new thing called like Moon Dew Nectar or something like that, and it's pretty interesting. We actually have some moon dew nectar you can't like grow it in a farm plot seems like you can only get it like out in the open so that's very interesting there i definitely want to try and get more later this episode so we could explode that gordo right but we have some honey slimes over here we got a couple episodes ago and they're just waiting to turn into largos and i asked you guys last episode hey what port should we feed these guys and turn them into a largo and a pretty good amount of you guys wanted me to actually feed them the flutter port so i suppose what we could do is actually head back to the starlight strand head all the way down here and then find more of those flutter slimes and feed one of them a moon dew nectar and hopefully get some plorts and we could feed them to these guys and get some largos out of them mainly because you know their favorite food the moon dew nectar and all the kind of stuff is so like it's it's harder to get than anything else you know like mint mango you could just grow here as well as like anything else you could just grow here but the favorite food of the the flutter slime you have to get specifically in the starlight strand apparently like exclusively over there i don't know if it's going to be in that volcano area as well but it seems it's going to be a lot more difficult to get their favorite food, so if you combine them together with the honey slimes, especially because their favorite food is like right next to them right there, you can get a whole lot of flutter plorts out of them a whole lot easier than normal, right? So that's really good there. Yeah, so we have one right there, so I guess we can keep that in our inventory. Yeah, we got rid of this plot, we got rid of this uh, mint mango because we were going to grow a mint uh, moon dew thing, but it doesn't grow there, unfortunately. You can only get that out in the wild, so that kind of sucks there. But real quick before we leave, let's go downstairs. I want to check up on the upgrades down here. And, you know, see what we're going to need while we're out and about. Yeah, boom floors, we're probably not going to get that until, I don't know, maybe later this episode or next episode when we go visit the volcano place and maybe find those boom slimes over there, right? Jetpack, I guess that's fully upgrade until we get uh, whatever thing that unlocks the next upgrade, right? Oh yeah, and a few guys actually suggested that I feed the honey slimes the tabby plorts so we can get tabby largos out of them, right? That was a pretty good idea too, because we don't have any tabby plorts, or a rather easy way of getting them, so hopefully whenever we're out and about we can find some tabby slimes, maybe suction them up and bring them back home and put them in one of the other corrals with the honey slimes, right? Maybe we can combine them together with the ringtail slimes, that'd be pretty funny. But anyways, yeah, looking at the other upgrades here, and then water tank, yeah, still don't have that, still haven't come across the puddle slimes at all, which is crazy, but uh, lava dust, yeah, probably want to get that over in the volcano area, yeah. Doesn't seem like there's really anything we could work towards besides getting tabby plores. But over here actually looks like we have another message. Who's this from? Wait, oh, is that Ogden Ortiz? It is! Hey, I wonder if we're ever going to get a message from someone new. Hola, Beatrix. Are you there? It's me, Ogden Ortiz. I hear you're off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger and maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies the world has never seen before. Yeah, I've seen some water lettuce, some of these new moon dew nectar things we've seen. I don't even know how you'd classify that. I, I'm like, I guess it's just nectar, huh? <laughs> you know, I had to ask, ever since you got me a steady supply of cucodoba fruits, I've been reaching for even greater culinary heights within the far, far range. Dot, dot, dot. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of eating cucodoba pie, cucodoba souffle, cucodoba pudding, cucodoba con carne, cucodoba con cucodoba. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas and willpower. So if you see something new, please tell me about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know all about the new flora and fauna you discover. Never forget, every bit of this wild world is precious and worth our care and respect. And stay hydrated out there. All that adventuring will work up a sweat, so take this water tap. Ooh, a portable water tap. That's new. Huh. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted. I'm rooting for you. Awesome. Okay, yeah, that's going to be really good, but at the same time, Ogden, you know what? I, I can't even suction up water at all yet. I, <laughs> so I can't even use that portable water tap. Golly. Anyways, yeah, I don't have any new messages from anyone else there. Anyways, let me just head back to the Starlight Strand. It's probably going to be a little while to go there because we have to go all the way to the very back to the Starlight Strand to find those new ringtail and, and flutter slimes down there. So let me just head all the way back there real quick and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, you guys are back. And man, it, it took me so long to get back here. It's night. Oh, jeez. It's nighttime now. So, hey, at least we'll be able to find those ringtail slimes, I believe, right? So, I believe they're over here. Oh, jeez. There's already a bunch of Taurus here. What? Oh, and by the way, yeah, I grabbed a few tabby slimes, like I said I was going to do. So, we could actually uh, take them back home and make a corral for them and maybe make a largo out of them and something else, right? So, that'd be pretty cool. But for right now, I'm just going to look around, try and find more of those moon glow nectar things. And I know I have one in my inventory already, but 
I think we gave, yeah, like right there. So if that had one fall, it would land like right here-ish, right? Uh, but I don't see anything right now, man. And of course, there's a bunch of tires distracting me too, so I need to be careful there too, golly. All right, guys, I did some crazy parkour. Now, ah, man, now I'm all the way up here. So, uh, oh, wait, oh my gosh, there is a ringtail Largo or Gordo right there. Hold on, where am I? Yeah. So, like, somewhere over there is the, uh, Flutter Largo or Gordo. Golly, I keep forgetting. Ah, uh, man, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to. Ah, let's try it. Let's try and make it all the way over there. Oh, I'm, oh and there's a moon glow thing right there. Oh, land, 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 land on top of the tree. Oh, I did it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, at least we got that. But And there's a ring. Okay, ring tail right there. I just want to. Okay, yeah. Maybe I'll just grab the. There we go. Flutter slime. Like snowflakes, each pair of wings are unique just and just a delicate, too. Yeah, cool. And they like nectar, which is pretty cool. And there's more right there, but it hasn't finished growing. I guess I grab like three or four of them or something. That'd be pretty good. Uh, but for right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, they actually fly and stuff, too. Cool. I'm like, it makes sense. They literally have wings, right? And what's this guy like again? Fruit, vegetables, and meat? So I wonder, is this guy like not available at, or, uh, during the day, perhaps? That'd be pretty interesting. So he eats uh, seemingly anything, just like a pink slime. So I could just give him... Yeah, there you go. Poga fruit right there. Or get chickens right here. Or carrots or anything else. And more poga fruit right here. Cool. So this is going to be a really easy Gordo with it. You know, quote unquote. Oh, jeez. Now, I do know that this guy is apparently going to, like, steal stuff out of my inventory just from what we read last episode, as well as you guys' comments, so I need to be careful. <laughs> Make sure we'll get anything stolen by these ringtail slimes, right? But let's just keep going around. I'm not, I'm not going to give him any of the moon, or, uh, yeah, moon glow nectar, though. Well, that's cool. You can see, you could even see the slime PD on my hip there. <laughs> but uh, I'm not, I'm not going to give any moon glow nectar, obviously, right? Because that's going to be uh, a lot more. Oh, man, more, uh, Radiant Door right there. Cool. Although it is a very treacherous. Ooh. Oh, he's heading towards me. He's trying to steal my Radiant Door. Oh, yeah, and I, I did get a... Oh, and I actually got a ringtail slime right there. Okay, cool. Uh, when there's a crime, there's a ringtail slime. <laughs> I did get a comment saying, uh, whatever I try and suction something up, I should probably aim, like, above it. That'd be a little bit easier. So I suppose we could try that uh, here in just a bit if I find it. Oh, and yeah, we got more. I don't have the inventory space for uh, chickens right now, unfortunately. Man, uh, well, maybe I'll just go around. Keep my eyes peeled for any more Moonglow Nectar real quick, though, while I'm in... And by the way, how do you... So it seems like over there is how you get over here. Where am I on the map? Oh, yeah, look at that. He's on. He's there. So, oh, yeah, we missed him because we did like some giant like jump from like this edge all the way over to here. Yeah, <laughs> that's why we missed him last episode. Yeah. So uh, if we wanted to come around the legitimate way, we'd have to go all the way over here. And then and then, yeah, down here. Yeah, this is where we saw him for the very first time. Yeah. And there's one right there. OK, cool. So we gave. I want to say seven to the uh, Flutter Gordo last episode, so we have three right now. I think we need to give them 25 in total of their favorite food, and that's going to explode the Gordos, right? So there's another one right there, which is good. If we want to keep our eyes peeled for any more of these that are just, you know, they're done, because some of these might be like, yeah, like this, where, you know, there's a moon glow nectar thing. Oh, and there's one right there, uh, but it's not right. It's not like harvestable, you know, so let's go up to that tree up there. Let's get another one, and then we're going to have five. And it's going to be about halfway-ish. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I definitely want to be careful of this. I don't know where that goes. Although, I'm like, maybe if my inventory was, like, basically empty, I'd actually go down there, you know? But I, I, don't, I don't want to risk it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, thankfully I was away from that hole, oh, man. <laughs> or else I guess we'd find out what's actually down that hole, right, golly? Anyways, any more uh, Moonglow Nectar around here, though? Oh, wow, that just finished up. Yeah, that wasn't done like just a second ago whenever I was demonstrating uh, the Moonglow Nectars and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that honey, yeah, honey flutter Largos down. Oh, jeez. Oh, this this probably takes us down to whatever that big hole takes us down to. So this might actually be a safe way of actually exploring that. But I do want to find more. And I don't know if you could find Moonglow Nectar like in supposed caves. And, oh, wait, there's one all the way up there. Does that have a, an actual Moonglow thing on top of it, though, that I can get? Yeah, it looks done. So that's good. So let's wait until we get full stamina and we can make this jump. Because if we can make this giant jump, obviously we can make this jump, right? Yeah, okay, we're full stamina. We're going to get seven. And then there's even radiant ore right there, too. Oh, man, there's a uh, treasure pot there. Ooh, what's that? Probably these, like, little flowers or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, wait, it's another tank liner thing. Using the fabricator to upgrade the tank guard. Now, I did get a comment from someone a few episodes ago saying, I probably shouldn't get, like, oh, and let's aim, like, above. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that seemed to help pretty well right there. I got two of them. Was there a third? I don't know. 
Yeah, I definitely want to keep aiming up above. Man, there's a bunch of TARs here. Uh, but someone said, try not get too many of these upgrades at once or else, like, like you'll cancel out the other upgrades and stuff. Something like that, right? But where does this go? Where does this cave go? It's an underwater cave, though, so I need to... Oh, TARs, TARs, TARs. Throw them into the water, throw them into the slime. See, I think we just saw Radiant Ore again right there, which is good. And then, yeah, more ra Man, and let's aim above, just like that guy commented. There you go. And yo, wow, we got, what, three right there? Man, oh man, another rod. Man, this is just an episode full of Gordos, you guys. So we have an angler Gordo over here. He loves meat. I think, oh yeah, right there. I was, I was kind of trying to remember, like, what was his favorite meat food? And I'm pretty sure, and yeah, you know what? We have only one ringtail slime. All right, we can just get rid of it right now. I'm like, it is nine times, so it's probably somewhat valuable. Uh, but the sea hen is going to be his favorite, I'm sure, right? So there you go, boom, boom. Any more sea hens around here? Oh man, another treasure pod. Golly, there's a lot of them around here. Nothing else. What's this going to be? Pink glow shrooms. Ooh. I guess that's what that is right there. Yeah, that looks like the picture. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, we have a lot of decoration, you guys. Oh man, that, that ringtail slime. He probably got eaten by a tar. Whoops. Oopsie doopsie. Blip. Going to a slime sea. Get the heck out of here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he just exploded right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to that ringtail slime. He's like, gone, you guys. Golly. Flutter floor. Yeah, that's not him. Whoops. Yeah, he probably turned into a floor. Uh, <laughs> probably turned into a floor. He probably turned into a uh, tar right there. Whoops. My fault. My bad. But uh, let's just keep going around while it is night. Oh, man. Oh, we got another sea hen and a honey slime. Oh, cute. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not going to go all the way back there right now to get more. Uh, cause, like, I'm really out of the inventory space. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, how do we get out of here? What in the world? Well, I guess that answers my question. <laughs> it's like the game is listening to me. Okay, hold on. Let's wait. And up. Oh, there you go, and then we're all the way up here again. Cool, awesome. There's that bridge over there. Man, look, look at this, just the scenery. Like, if we didn't have this this backpack gun thing, you could probably take a screenshot. And, oh my gosh, slime's just flying right there. <laughs> look at them. Oh, and they're going straight into a slime seat. You could probably take a screenshot and use that as like a wallpaper or some of that if the gun wasn't in the way, you know? Man, it's crazy. But let's just keep going around, and I think, yeah, up there's the fluttered Gordo. We already gave him, I think, seven, right? Oh, wait, is that another, uh... Awesome, another moon glow nectar. Cool. Seems like the ones around here are starting to replenish their moon glow nectar, which is good. So, hopefully, uh, is that another one? I think it is. Let's wait until we get our stamina back. We can get another one on that cliff, you guys. Cool. Yeah, I guess I'll just give you all the moon glow nectar we have right now, which is going to be nine. On top of, the, I think, seven we gave him last time. So, it's going to be 16. We need to get him nine more. So, there you go. Unless they're going to- Oh, wait, no! Whoa, they explode even sooner! What? Wait, what happened? Oh my gosh, a bunch of flutter slimes spawned and then fell down a hole! Oh my gosh, there's like a cave system or something like that here, you guys. Oh my gosh! It's kind of weird that these guys are falling because they could, they could literally fly, right? <laughs> I'm just going to section up all these cute little flutter slimes out. Anyways, it looks like there is a, uh... Oh, wait, what's that? There's like stuff around this research drone. Let's see what he has to say, though. Accessing gg.log, the breach is so much smaller now, it fills me with hope. I remember when I first found it, I just walked right into the labyrinth and began exploring its endless grey halls, not even understanding what was really happening. But it's not so easy this time. Whenever I do, I need to shut the door tight behind me. I can't let it all happen again after coming this far. Ooh, so that labyrinth, is, I guess that's what this guy is referring to, is that like, can I get to it from, how do I get, oh, another treasure thing right there. But there's like a giant, like, thing in the wall behind the, uh, the fluttered Gordo with, like, colors coming out of it. I couldn't walk into it like that, which is interesting. There's like a light thing right there and like little, little stuff there, a little shovel. There's the research drone right there, some rope and stuff. Huh. Oh yeah, there's a treasure, I forgot, man, I was like too busy talking over here. Let's go get the uh, treasure thing. But yeah, I guess that's what he's talking about, that weird, like, labyrinth thing. And I don't know if we're actually, oh, what in the world? Starlight Strand Portal, a teleporter that hacks the ancient warp network on Rainbow Island, allowing one-way travel to Starlight Strand. Ooh! I'm like, I literally just said earlier in this episode, like, it takes a long time to get all the way back here, so hey. And now that we have a Starlight Strand Portal, it's going to be a lot easier to come back here now, huh? So that's really cool, you guys. Awesome. Anything of note around here, though, while I'm heading out of here? I don't think so. Oh, what in the world is this? Oh, this is the labyrinth they're talking about. Yeah. Cool. So that opens up this. Yeah, they were talking about like gray halls or whatever. That so takes us here, but is there any? I guess. Hold on. Is that another? Oh, it's just one of these things. Oh, no, it's just a Rushro, a Sea Hannah, Hugo Fruit. No, no other doorways, it looks like. 
Is there anything else around here, though? Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any other pathways. Wait, is that more radiant? Or wait. What is that? I guess it's just a decoration tree, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any other pathways, I think. And then the only other thing out of here is here, right? I don't even think I can make this jump. Can I? Let's wait until we get stamina. If not, I, I might need to use that. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I can't even go up this. Man. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Yeah, right here. So it seems like this is the only... The heck is going on there? <laughs> seems like this is the only way out of here, you guys. Interesting. So, where do I go from here now? I guess, yeah, we have to make this jump, so. There you go. And then, whoop. 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 Oh my gosh, and then you have to, like, wrap around and stuff, too. Holy egg. Yeah, this is this is very dangerous, very treacherous. Do not want to do this without a heckin' jetpack, you guys. Golly, I'm glad we finally got one, right? Man. <laughs> but at least we exploded that Gordo up there, which is good. And, you know what? Let's, let's feed. I'm like, I have them in my inventory. I'm kind of looking around for flutter slimes. But I kind of want to feed one in this extra moon glow nectar thing so we can get some ports out of them. And then, uh... Wait, hold on, is there a Oh, here's another moon glow nectar thing right here. Yeah, there's still no puddle slimes around here. What in the world's going on? Unless, hold on. They are! Oh my gosh, they were here this whole time. What? They were, like, right here. I didn't even notice them. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we need to make room for them, too. I've got Q-berries. Man, okay, let's get, the, let's get the puddle slimes. Yeah, puddle slimes. We got puddle ports there, too. I, yeah, you can't, you can't make Largos out of these guys, I believe, right? Except for, I think you do it with mods. I can't remember if I did it in my modded series or not. Uh, well, let's grab some Puddle Slimes here. And we're going to have to make a Puddle Slime, like, corral, a special one back home for them. And uh, they're just going to be in there all the, on their own. Yeah, I don't see any more. Oh, wait. Oh, is that what I, that might have been what I saw. I saw, like, blue, like, liquid falling or something like that just a minute ago. Although, yeah, this is pretty far, so. I don't know what that was I saw. Maybe, like, a Rock Slime or something like that. <laughs> But anyways, there's some, uh, puddle ports over here. But, uh, I don't think I want to grab them right now, yeah. I'm like, I kind of need them. And we got Moon, moon Glow, Moon Dew, or whatever. So let's get you, yeah, let's get you. Let's feed you the Moon Dew stuff. There you go, so we can get your floor. Oh! It's like, we're jingling. Oh! He's going flying out of here. Okay. Well, I do want to grab your plorts. There you go, Flutter plorts. Cool. All right, let's keep our eyes peeled for any more, uh, pond slimes around, puddle slimes around here, you guys. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to take any more out of my inventory to get out their actual ports, so... And by the way, where do they eat again? I forgot what the puddle slimes are. Oh yeah, they don't actually eat it. You just have to wait a little while and then they just produce the, the plorts after a little while. Yeah, I think that's how it works, right? Uh, yeah, now after the fact, I'm seeing so many moon glow nectars, you guys, it's crazy. <laughs> but at least we have some plorts from them, which is good. Uh, do I want to still want to grab their flutter slimes? I'm like, if I have the plorts, I can still make Larios out of them, right? I don't, I don't need the actual slimes themselves. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, I don't know why I have these guys in my inventory. <laughs> Yeah, let's just get rid of them for right now. Let's grab the Moon Glow, Moon Dew Nectar. See if there's any more around here I can grab. And I think there was one over here unless it's gotten eaten by now. Yeah, right there. Cool. Then I'll feed them to these, um... Oh, jeez, now there's Tars. <laughs> hey, at least we're this this much closer to actually getting rid of the Tars, right? We need the Puddle Slimes to get the Puddle Plorts, get the upgrades. And, uh... Hold on. Feed these guys. Get their Plorts. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's about to get eaten. Ah, eat the, eat the Plorts. Grab the Plorts. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I have four of them. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Another Moon Dew Nectar. Give me your plorts, give me your plorts. I love how there's like a jingling sound wherever they eat, though. I don't know if it's because they're eating their favorite food, and that's why. But at least we have the puddle plorts now, right? So at least we know we could find them here, so maybe we can come back an episode or two from now and more puddle slimes have spawned in over there. That'd be really good, you guys. Uh, but for right now, I guess we want some more honey slimes. Uh, yeah, here we go, Q-berries. Let's just grab some more anythings around here and just feed them to this. Oh, yeah, is he? Oh, yeah, so he turns into a statue during the day, just like the regular ones we saw. Yeah, cool. Man, that's really cool, but unfortunately, that means we can't feed him right now. We have to wait. Man, all right, well, I guess I'll get rid of that and grab the Moon Dew Nectar thing right there. Give it to the Flutter Slime that just spawned in. Here we go. Uh, you guys, there you go. Get some plorts out of you. And then I, I guess we'll just use all these plorts. So that's one, and then another one right there. Cool. So we have eight right now. That, that's a pretty good amount, honestly. I like that. We have, I think, six... Yeah, we have six honey honey slimes at home, which is really good. And we need, yeah, we need two flutter plorts to open up some sort of tunnel. Where was that? Oh, another, wow. Nine. Oh, ten. Yeah, there's a lot of flutter uh, plorts around here because these guys obviously have been eating stuff and there were Largos here just a minute ago, too. Any more pond puddle slimes that spawned in here? No. I guess, I can, yeah, I, I can grab the plorts now, which is good. I actually have the inventory space for it now, so there you go. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, follow the water. Is there any more? Yeah, right there. Oh my gosh, I, l I literally looked in here. I remember coming over here and being like, oh man, this has got to be where you find puddle slimes. I remember this waterfall and there were none here. 
man. Unless he got killed. They probably got killed by Tars. That's probably what happened to him. They got killed by the Tars, huh? <laughs> We've eight puddle blocks. I think we need 10, right? To get the uh, ability to suction up water and like throw it at Tars and kill him, right? I need two more, I think. Yeah, Lee. Yeah, so there's one waterfall there. There's one there. Yeah, we went to both locations, which is good. I don't see any more waterfalls. And yeah, there's that like rift, which is crazy. Yeah, I don't see any more waterfalls around here, you guys, unfortunately. Man. Whoa, I need to be very careful. I've got some very valuable cargo in my inventory right now, you guys. Flutter plorts, puddle plorts, puddle slimes. Tabby slimes aren't really that big of a deal. Yeah, we're, if anything, we're probably going to turn tabby and... Oh, yeah, I don't have a ringtail right now. Yeah, I got rid of them. I, I was going to turn ringtail and tabby into a largo, but can't do that right now. But maybe whenever it's nighttime again, we can come back here and grab some ringtail slimes. And maybe explode the ringtail gorda. That'd be really good, you guys. But I think if we keep, like, going this way... We're going to come across where the honey gorda was. Oh, yeah, I think I need to keep going this way, right? So if I remember correctly. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is so beautiful. The tree that's like half like lavender, half coral. Yeah, cool. We were never this close up to it. We only saw it from far away, but up close, man, this thing's huge. Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, is this the one with the research drone? Yeah, it is. I know where I'm at. Yeah, perfect. So if we go this way, we're going to come across. Yeah, and that's where the gorda was. And I think the gordo where he was, there was like a tunnel and there were like two statues of what are now we now know are flutter slimes, right? And I know I got comments of you guys saying, yeah, those are actually phosphor slimes, but pretty sure those were not phosphor. What the heck is going on here? Honey rocket. Where did the rock slime come from? <laughs> ah, that might, that, yeah, you know what? You might, you guys might be right. Okay, that one might be phosphor, but the other one over here, this one might've been flutter. Yeah, the, okay, yeah, these are both phosphor. Man, yeah, you guys were right in the comments. I'm just making sure, yeah, these won't open right now. Man, yeah, I guess we'll come back whenever we have the phosphor plorts, and we can open up both of those pathways. Oh, man, speaking of phosphor, it is about to turn at nighttime, but I don't really have an inventory for uh, picking them up, unfortunately. Unless I get rid of the tabby slimes, you know? But for right now, uh, let me just, I guess, head this away? And then we'll eventually wrap around to the front of the area? Man, look at all these angler slimes here. Angler ports and... Oh, yeah, speaking of phosphor, yeah, they're right there, but... Do I want to get... Yeah, you know what? I could probably get tabby slimes on the way back. Yeah, I could probably find them, uh... Find more tabby slimes out of way, right? But for right now, these guys eat fruit, right? I don't have any fruit on me, and there's no fruit just growing around here. Oh, wait, hold on. I think up there. Yep, yeah, poker fruit right there. Perfect. Hold on. So we got a poker fruit right here. This is going to be phosphor for you. There you go. Let's get your plort. And there it is right there. Okay, cool. So we got the phosphor plort. Let's go feed that into the thing up here. All right, well, we have one phosphor plort, which is good. So let's just head down here. Let's go give it to one of the statues, and that's going to open up a... Uh, here we go. That's going to open up one pathway. So there you go. Is going to open up this, or...? Yeah, so where does this end up at? Is this... Hold on. No, wait, where is this? Oh, wow, I never... Oh, yeah, I never noticed that. Or maybe I did, but it's very hidden there. Okay, cool. There's phosphor ones right here, and there's a lot of fruit around. Yeah, Q-berries right there. Cool. So let's get another one, and we can open up the other. Oh, geez, a tar. Man. There you go. Feed them. Eat, 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 eat. It's our favorite, is it? Yeah, it is. So we got double right there. Cool. Although I, I think I only need one, so let's just head back into this. There you go. And then this way. Yeah. So let's head this way. And whoop. Yeah, you don't even need a jetpack for that. So uh, there you go. I think I know where this goes. This is going to where the angler and I think, isn't there a silky sand thing? Like, yeah, there's a silky sand thing like right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's grab some of that. Awesome, silky sand. Three of them, not bad. All right, well, let me just head on out of here. Uh, let me go, I think this way, yeah. So at least we have this opened up now, you guys. We have a cool shortcut there, which is awesome. I think if we head this way enough, we're eventually going to wrap around to the very front of the Starlight Strand. All right, here we are, awesome. And then, yeah, we're going to go back home. We're going to get a... Because we have a lot of money. We could obviously make some corrals for puddle slimes and maybe even tabby slimes and stuff like that. But speaking of such... Oh, look it, man. I don't have a... Ah, yeah, chickens don't even spawn here, man. Seems like every episode we come across the lucky slime and I'm not able to feed them. Ah, let's just go drop off these silky sand here and maybe we can come across a chicken and then head back. That'd be really good, you guys. But he's probably going to despawn by the time we get back there, unfortunately, right? There more... Oh, man, more tabby floors. Okay, good, good, good. I go deposit those. There's a tabby slime right there, but I bet that lucky slime's despawned by or yeah, lucky slime. He's probably despawned by now, unfortunately. But let me just wrangle up some tabby slimes around here, though. Maybe like I don't know, like six of them or something like that. We just kind of keep them at home, and then maybe next episode we can go back to the Starlight Strand and get a ringtail slime and ringtail ports and stuff like that. Then combine them together and get a cool Largo out of them. That'd be really cool, you guys. All right, guys, we are back. 
And it seems like, man, all of our water lettuce dispensed here. Some of these guys are hungry. Yeah, some of these get man, a lot of them are hungry. All right, well, let's just go deposit some of our plorts into the uh, fabricator or the refinery or whatever. Uh, get some inventory. Oh, man, I could have dropped off the uh, radiant ore too in the uh, in the refinery link. Man, I forgot to do that. Uh, let's just deposit it right now. There you go. And then I think we're going to need to, yeah, deposit the puddle plorts too. Yeah. And then the flutter plorts. What were we saving these for, by the way? Oh, yeah, we're going to turn uh, the honey ones into largos. Yeah. So now that we're the puddle, how, how close are we to getting this? Oh, I need, yeah, I need two more. Man! Then, which one was it? The tank booster? Yeah, we still need 13 more tabby plorts, unfortunately. Golly. All right, well, let's just head out and let's go feed our uh, slimes because they're getting pretty hungry, I'm sure, right? So here we go. Let's get some water less. And yeah, let's, let's kind of aim above the uh, water less to kind of pick them all up at once. Yeah, seemed like that worked pretty well right there. Cool. Let's feed all these guys their favorite food. Then maybe I'll head to the silo and get some carrots if there's uh, any more that are hungry there. There you go. Because I don't know if 13 water less, I don't know if that's enough for these guys. Uh, we have a lot of heart beats right here, which is going to be the preferred of the rock slimes, rock largo, rock hunter largos that we have over there. So I don't know if any of them are going to be hungry because there's so many chickens in there, right? Yeah, they're all completely well fed. Once again, there's just way too many chickens in there. <laughs> Look at all the chicken is too. Man. All right. Oh, and hey, we have 21 heartbeats. There's that lucky number again, golly. Yeah, we don't even have an auto feeder for these guys because I don't really need one, honestly. And then, yeah, for the puddle slime, where would I even put them? Would I put, I don't know. I could put them here. Should I put them here? Or should I put them all the way back? Yeah, you know what? I'll put them here because I don't think you could put a demolish block. Yeah, I guess I'll demolish this. Yeah. Because I, I, don't, I don't think you're able to put like an auto, like a slime coop silo. Here it is right here, a pond for 450. Yeah, we could afford that. I don't think you're able to get a, uh, a gathery thingy, a uh, plort collector. <laughs> I don't think you're able to get a plort collector for the for the puddle slimes. So uh, having them close to me or at least close to the uh, you know, where everything is here at the conservatory is going to make it a lot easier for us to gather all their plorts rather than just despawning in the background. Right. So I think after a little while, these guys are going to produce. Right. Yeah, they're also kind of shy. They have that little red on their uh, face there. So is there a, uh, what is it called? A, a slime toy dispenser or something like that? I don't know if there is a slime toy dispenser thingy around here. If there is, I don't know where it is. Let's just go turn our uh, honey slimes into honey largos. And then uh, maybe we can go give them a bunch of mint mangoes and get a bunch of flutter plorts out of them. That'll be really good, you guys. All right, so here are the honey slimes. Uh, they're kind of, one of them's like really hungry. The other ones are okay. They're fine. Uh, but we do have mint mangoes over here. So yeah, a couple of them are starting to rot, though. I might want to get in because I have so much money. I might want to get an upgrade over here to make it where it doesn't rot quite as fast. Oh, wait, yeah, I don't have that yet. Yeah, you get that from Ogden Ortiz, but we don't have it just yet. Yep. Yeah, there's like a soil upgrade. Let's get nutrient soil and let's get uh, sprinklers right there. Cool. That way we can grow them faster and get more uh, mint mangoes out of them, right? So that's really good. Uh, but yeah, we don't have that like upgraded soil just yet. Ogden needs to give it to us. But uh, is this feeder... Yeah, wow, this feeder already dispensed all the mint mangoes, golly, but let's not give them mint mangoes just yet. Let's actually, is this, uh, oh, jeez, the port collector, the syrup, uh, <laughs> syrup, port, honey port collector's actually full too, golly. So let's grab all these, or at least, you know, 30 of them. I can't carry any more, unfortunately. There you go. Then, uh, there you go, 71 right there, okay. And let's give these guys some flutter ports. Now, is this guy actually work, or? Yes, it does. I'm like, I, we literally just saw him over in the uh, Starlight Strand, right? So obviously it works. <laughs> and then, yeah, let's do an upgrade here, too, to make this uh, higher wall. Yeah, higher walls. Let's give him a uh, air net, too, just to be extra careful. Yeah, we already have these upgrades. And I guess we can give him music, too. Music box set. Soothing tones that greatly reduces slime agitation. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, they're kind of further away from us, so we can't take care of them quite as easily. Let's just give him a music box. I have, I have so much money anyways, right? It's not that big of a deal, but... Are all these guys large? Oh, there's one. Oh, just one singular honey slime who's not converted into a uh, Largo yet. But there he is. And now he could eat his favorite food and get me double plorts. There you go. All these guys can get me double plorts. Not only uh, double honey plorts, but double flutter plorts too. Cool. Awesome. I think this is going to be enough, right? There you go. Man, look at all those plorts inside there. And we're starting to get honey plorts back, you guys. Awesome. Cool, so we have 16 of them right there. I guess we can go deposit all those up inside the uh, the refinery just in case we need those for any sort of crafting, right? That'd be really good. And I can't grab any more honey plorts, unfortunately. Yeah, let's see how much the flutter plorts are going for on the port market. Probably, hopefully a pretty good amount of money. 50, wow, that's good money, 58. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Yeah, speaking of money, might as well actually, uh, and yeah, there's no upgrades I can do here, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I think the most you could have, most puddle slimes you could have is like three or something like that, and then they start getting shy, or is it two? Yeah, he still has a shy little thing. Oh, there you go. That, yeah, a little red shriek went away right there. So I forgot what the shy thing did, but I do know we need a, a like a little rubber ducky toy. Oh, wait. Yeah, we have three right now and they're fine. 
Yeah, I I'm going all around the perimeter of the conservatory, and if there is a slime toy dispenser thing here, I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. It might be on the inside or something. I, may, may, yeah, it's probably going to be down in the lab, too. I'm going to check down there, too, but, but I'm not seeing a slime toy dispenser thing over here, unfortunately. Man. But yeah, let's just go downstairs and see if it's down there. Although it'd be kind of far away from all the slimes if it's down here. It wouldn't be very accessible for us, right? So let me just double check. Yeah, I don't see anything down here. Man. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything, unfortunately, but I'll deposit up some of the flutter plorts right there. There you go. And then maybe we can sell a pretty good amount of them, get some money back. That'd be really good. Oh, wait. The puddle slimes are starting to produce, you guys. Awesome. Yeah, I, I think they don't produce puddle plorts whenever they're, like, shy or whatever. So, yeah, I, I guess we're going to have to keep three of them in my inventory at least until we get a rubber ducky or uh, maybe we can get another puddle area, like a puddle slime area for them and then we can place down the other three we have in our inventory, but... I think all we needed was just two more plorts, so we should be able to get that tank upgrade, right? So, cross it up with those. Let's see, hopefully we can get it. And we can! Awesome! How much does it cost, by the way? Like, money-wise? 450, that's cheap, golly. Let's get that upgrade. Boom, we got the water tank upgrade, awesome! And now, yeah, all I need is the uh, tabby plorts for that. And all these other ones are probably going to come later once we go to that new island, huh? Yeah. So anyways, there you go, make a splash. A blast of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while or dissolve those terrible tar slimes. A watered garden's crops also grow faster. Yeah, that's why we have the sprinklers, but uh, speaking of such, yeah, because we have such good money. Let's actually give all of our crops those upgrades, such as the nutrient soil and the sprinklers. And there you go. Awesome. So let me do that for all these crops over here. There you go. So I got all those upgrades and we still have 1400 in the bank. Man, I have a lot of money right now. And hold on, we are is that? Yeah, we have another message. Who's this from? Victor Humphreys and Mochi Miles. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Let's save that until next episode. I don't actually know how long this video is right now. I'm probably going to have to cut out a bunch of footage, but I don't want it to be too long and I end up recording like one and a half episodes just like last time. So I'm going to have to end it off here in just a sec. There you go. 12 more mint mangoes there. Great. Yeah, I think previously we got only six. So that actually did double how many mint mangoes we got from that tree, you guys. Yeah, there's six right there up in storage. So that's awesome. Maybe six, maybe eight or something like that. Oh, yeah, then ugh, I should have sold the extra syrup plorts. Or mint honey plorts. <laughs> I should have sold the extra ones just because that one's almost full of again so let me actually go sell those and i guess i could sell these extra flutter ports as well and while i'm doing that i guess i could do my outro so thank you guys all very much for watching i thought that was the toy dispenser <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and if you guys want more of these awesome videos be sure to hit that subscribe button and while you're down there be sure to ring that bell so youtube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of slime rancher 2 in early access comes out so you don't miss it and while I still have money, I might as well get more storage modules over here for the silo. Just because why not? Just because I have so much I money. Might as well spend it right there, yo. Anyways, I don't know where I was going. Oh, man, these guys are producing port skin. Cool. Uh, but I don't know where I was in that outro right there. Did I finish it? I don't know. I got super duper distracted just a second ago. I got distracted again right there. <laughs> but anyways, be sure to hit that. Oh, yeah, we suctioned up water right there for the very first time. Awesome. Yeah, we can get water from this thing, which is good. Yeah, there you go. You see it right there. I'm filled up on 30 water right there. Awesome. But anyways, just like button, subscribe button, bell. You guys know the deal. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher 2 in early access. Oh, bye there.